Okay, this is an introductory video to mods and what they are and how to equip them. I have been through two regions of Kingston, so I am still early on. This is an introductory. I've been to Kingston. I've come back. Now I've looted all these mods. Now what do I do with them level video? Um, it's going to be as deep as Kingston knowledge lets you get. I'm sure there's going to be other videos out there that go even deeper in what mods can do. But this, I hope, is going to be a good overall basic introductory video for them. So if you go into text touchpad and you go into the access information, you can go into your modules. Now you can see out here, I've picked up 17 out of 554 of them. This is just sort of like an information area right here. We're not going to equip anything really through here. But what you can do is the game tells you every mod that is available in the game. So if mods are important to you, you can spend time sort of looking through here and be like, okay, predators are instinct. When using a firearm while frenzied, firearm attack gradually increases. And this is specific to Glay. So if this is something you want, for example, you can come in here and you can hit square on PlayStation and that will actually tell you where you can find this mod. And this is an intercept battle. Let me find one that's a little less deep and specific. <sighs> All right, so general rounds, lethal finish. Let's say we want this, so acquisition. So we can get this at Swamp Walker, Aga Desert, Fortress. It tells you in here places where you can find this mod. So if there's one specific one that you want, the game will tell you where you can get it and you can track it if you want which is like a nice thing. And then if you go into owned, this will tell you the ones that you specifically have at the time, not just the ones that are there, but the ones you specifically actually have picked up, which is nice. So this is just the information area of modules. So once you want to equip them, we're going to hit on um, PlayStation, we're going to hit the options button. And we're going to go into the weapon that you want to put it on. You can put it on any of these three, you know, these slots. You can put whatever weapon you want here, but then once they're in these three slots, you can hit a module setting with triangle. Now, if you have more than one, and you probably will, because you probably just come back from Kingston and you've been looting a lot and you haven't like sold anything yet. Uh, and you'll see, sometimes you'll have more than one of that, whatever weapon it is that you have equipped. That's okay. The mods get applied to the weapon type, not the weapon in particular. So if you have three submachine albinism th submarine submachine guns, the obs the mods get attached to the submarine gun. Why do I keep saying that? Submachine gun. Not the first one you have or the third one that you have, but it's kind of gets attached to all. Unfortunately, I've done all my selling, so I can't actually like show you that part. But if you go into sell stuff, don't be too worried about selling something you have equipped because you really can't. But you'll see weapons and you'll be like, oh my god, there's mods installed. Well, that's just because you have five submachine guns and you have mods assigned to the submachine gun type. So, bleh. so there you go. So if you want, you can come in here, view modules for current weapon only. Odds are this will be selected. I've just been dicking around, so it was selected. So, but if you want to see all the mods for all weapons, or if you want to see the mod just for your weapon, you can filter it that way. Later on, as you get more mods, you can also filter by tier, filter by socket, which is, you can see module socket type on the card itself. Honestly, these don't specify, so maybe a different weapon specifies. I've only been in a couple of them and none of them seem to. Whereas with the Descendant it does, so I'll show you more about that in the Descendant. But here you don't really need to necessarily worry about socket type, as far as I can tell. But we will pay attention to that in Descendant and we'll copy, we'll go over that then. So starting in the top right, this weapon, which is the machine gun, has a model capacity, module capacity of 28. What that means is the capacity cost of six and six and seven and six, because I've actually already upgraded this one, 
You can equip as many as you want, provided it adds up to 28 and or less. And you can increase your capacity by leveling up and or later in the game, you'll be able to use an energy activator. That module addition settings, max capacity, is you can go in, in to research and craft something, an energy activator that will allow you to increase your capacity from like 28 to 58 or that kind of thing. Or I guess you can purchase one from the shop. Oh, I don't have any caliber. So anyway, so it looks like you can. All right, so then you can rename the settings if you want. This is kind of like a loadout. So if this is like your Kingston loadout and that's what you want to use when you're in Kingston, you can rename this to Kingston. It's just your standard PlayStation keyboard kind of thing. And then confirm. Okay, so we've been through all of this. We can sort. You can change by tiers, change by sockets, and or you can look if you want to see stuff further you go on and you have 50 mods in here, you can subset to fire rate or to weak point damage or accuracy or stuff like that. So there's a couple of different ways to get it up there. There's actually like three that I can think of. You can equip recommended module. If you don't even want to think about it and you just want to do what you think is best, you know, just have the game just do it for you, you can choose this and it will go ahead and throw everything up there that you want or that it wants, what it thinks is best for you. So we're going to do R3 and unequip because we're going to do it a different way. So now down here, one more thing I'll point out is if you have more than one card, you'll see it on the counter on the bottom right hand corner of the picture. So I have three better insight cards. Now I have one of these and one of these and, and one of these. So the other way to do it is you can hit square and it'll automatically equip it for you and put it where it wants. See, here's one that rifling and reinforcement. Oh, I already have it. Okay, it's already up there. Okay, general rounds. General rounds. That one's... Oh, this one's level 7. Capacity cost is 7. Firearm attack rate is 12.9 and this one's 12. So I'll take the 7 one. Thank you very much. And then we'll unequip them all and show the third one. Oops, unequip all. Yes. So the other way to do it is you can just press X and like drag stuff up there. But you can only have like one rifling reinforcement. So you're gonna want, probably not that one. Okay, unequip. Rifling reinforcement, both of these are rifling reinforcement. I'm gonna drag the one that's higher, the seven one. And then fire enhancement and better insight. So there you go. So there's three different ways to equip mods. You can do it yourself manually two different ways and you can get the game to do it one way for you and that's how you do mods. So then L3 to save. And so now when you highlight the gun, you'll see where it says module, you'll see the blues pop up. That's how you know you have mods equipped for that weapon. So now going into the Descendant module, in here, now the Descendant has very specific, it has a, two slots that are specific to sockets. So we have a Cerulean socket on the top and we have a Rutile socket on the bottom. Now what that means is, is if you have, let me find this, here's a Rutile one. So now this card, Increased death initially costs a capacity of six. So if you put it up here anywhere, you'll see a capacity of six. If you put it in a socket that's specific to something else, for example, a Rutile in a Cerulean socket, it's now gonna cost me eight, which is more. So now I just got penalized for putting it in a socket that's really sort of set aside for something else. So now it's up to eight. And if we put it in a slot that's kind of like, hey, put it here, because I kind of want routiles here, now it's going to cost me 50% of what it normally would cost. So it went from six to three. So now we're down to three. So now on this side, you can equip mods exactly the same way as with weapons. You can equip the recommended module 
and it'll go through and it'll do it for you. And it'll pop it all up there. And the only reason I didn't do mo this one is because I have multiple. So I clearly had three of them. So there's still two in my list. The other way to do it is you can just highlight the card and hit square. 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 And square. Now remember, this is the one we have more of. So you can't do can't do any more of that. You can be like, no, you already have it equipped. You can only equip a specific type once. So that's the other way to do it. And then if you R3 to unequip again, confirm, is you can drag them and put them where, oh, cannot equip in that slot. Okay. And drag them wherever you, they want to go, wherever you want to put them. That's like the third way to do it. And again, just like in weapons, um, you can increase your max capacity by leveling up or crafting or buying an energy activator use, which is module additional settings. Yeah, we can save it. So when you do increase the max capacity for her, she'll go from 32 to 52. Now you can craft it once you later on get to the point where you're finding these things. And if you go into the research screens, you can actually highlight each of these individual ingredients and actually find out where they are. So you can like work on going to get them. That's actually really nice. Or you can buy one with Caliber, which I haven't even started getting it from, but I'm still early in Kingston, so I don't know. So go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip Recommended. And then we'll hit L3 and save. And we're gonna back out. So now we've done both weapon and descendant. And so what we're gonna do now is we're going to vaguely cover how to deconstruct one and how to enhance one. So we're gonna talk to Cillian, who is over on the west side of Albion. Was it R2 and zoom? So he's over here. He's the module master, and we're gonna talk to him over here. Ask me anything about modules. So to combine modules, you need to reach mastery rank nine, which I'm not. I'm currently mastery rank two. So we are not gonna be going into that one yet. But dismantle modules. If I do, when I reach nine, I might actually make a video for this. So check the description. And if I have made a video for it, I'll probably put the link in it there. But it'll be down the road, at least as of right today. So dismantle modules. So the first thing you can do in here is you can either sort, otherwise filter, just like normal stuff. And in here, you can either do all, and it'll tell you high powered rounds. This little icon in the top right is sort of at a glance what they go for, which is really nice. It's a high powered rounds. Or you can subset by the type of ammunition based on the weapons that you're enjoying, or if you like, you want to do ones for the descendant. And the ones that are equipped will have the check marks on them. And I don't think you can select. Like, I'm hitting X now, and it won't let me select it to dismantle. So if you want to dismantle a mod, it can't be equipped on a weapon or a descendant. So here I have two increased HP mods. Because I actually had three of them. So one's already equipped, so I've got two extras. So let's say we want to get rid of one of these. So I'm going to hit X, it's going to come here, and this is going to be how many Cooper Shards you get for dismantling it. And again, Cooper Shards are up here. This is Caliber, Cooper Shards, and Gold. So we're going to dismantle this. And that gets rid of it. So now we'll go into Enhance, and this will show all the ones that are equipped. In weapons, this will only show the three weapons that you actually have equipped. So if you want to, say you uh, assigned a mod to a weapon type that you don't currently have equipped, you're going to have to go out and equip that weapon and then come back in here so that you'll see it. 
So here's a firearm critical hit rate of 10%. Let's say I want to go ahead and increase that. So we'll hit X. So now this is going to cost me 300 Cooper shards and 3,000 gold. And it will also increase my capacity cost from 6 to 7. So while I'm currently at 20 and I have a max of 28. Hang on, let me back out. So currently it's 19 out of 28. So if I want to increase this, it's going to increase it to 20 to 28 because it's going to go up by one. So let's go ahead and enhance that. And so now if I want to enhance it again, it'll go up to 21. But your capacity costs, you know, will go up. But your enhancement will definitely go up. Which is nice. So you want to mess around with all of these and see what you want to increase and see what's important to you. What you think is important to you kind of thing. And that's how you enhance a mod and dismantle a mod and how to equip a mod. And so hopefully that's a good introductory video. Um, I know there's going to be stuff that I missed because I am still early in the game. So if there's, if you have a question about mods, I will do my best to answer it. Just leave the comment, just leave a comment with your question and I'll do my best to answer it. Okay, thanks.